bless you everyone um, I wanted to take this video just to show you all the manualidades and what we're taking for San Judas Chico that's the place I've been um, assigned to prepare the lesson for I want to thank every one of you for being so proactive and getting your parts ready last week we spoke I spoke individually um, with most of you some I texted with or message um, use messenger so I want to thank you for following up and preparing for your parts I will try to schedule um, either Monday or Tuesday sometime for anyone who wants to go over their part or what they're going to do so right now I want to show you what we're going to take over there as you know we will be two days in San Juda Chico um, and I want to make sure that we have enough activities just in case um, we don't want the girls to get bored we have a lot to cover the lessons and stuff like that but we want to make sure that they get creative and they have that outlet to um, really enjoy themselves and we can enjoy their company um, and paint with them and through what we're doing these is a great opportunity for us to speak with them so that way we can um, just see where they're at um, even though they're little we can still show them the love of God or teach them about God and, and witness to them and instill in them that seed about God and, and what he can do for us um, so here we go so we have this um, their plywood rectangles that can be painted on and um, I have different stencils as you know we are talking about the life of Esther we're going to talk about her qualities um, we're using the background of a flower market um, because over there it's going to be spring um, they're below the equator and obviously it's the opposite from us so right now um, spring is starting for them so we have different flower stencils um, we have butterflies to keep with the theme so we can trace these and then the girls can color them we also have for the little ones because we do have a few that are small we have different um is that a snake okay maybe we won't use that one but um we have different animals i think this is cute for the younger ones little monkey hippopotamus hippopotamus i don't know how to say that in english and also some of the um, areas that we'll be covering with Norma Zambrano and with Shirley Hernandez is the different um, outlets that we have, um, how Esther had a year to prepare herself, right? And through it, she went through different things. The girls also have time to prepare um, for life um, and also to take care of themselves. Um, and we're going to cover two aspects, the physical one and the emotional one we have Norma Zambrano is going to do um, 15 minutes about fitness and sleeping and staying healthy so I'm still looking for a stencil or something that will represent that if you guys have any ideas please let me know or if you find one but I found one sports we don't know how many girls like to play soccer or um, those sports over there so and we also have music Shirley's going to be covering the part about um, different emotional how we can find a sound mind and how we can um, emotionally find our space you know through different things music writing you know meditating or friends and all that stuff she has that covered so i thought it would be fine fun to have some different stencils that will represent different aspects of the lesson um we also have i found these the crowns we know we're going to talk about queen esther so these are key for the girls to um paint or color I'm looking for really cheap rhinestones to play on them so that way they can put them really nicely and some I'm trying to not to take as much weight as I possibly can um, can take from here but I want to make sure that they can um, do different whether rhinestones or they can do glitter or anything like that also we have color paint um, I found the primary colors so that way they can mix um, and please pray that the altitude on the plane doesn't pop these. I'm trying to find a way where I can try to, I don't know, put them away in a way that it won't affect the, um, the altitude won't um, explode them or anything like that. We also have paint brushes that we bought and these are cute. I found them at Oriental Trading. They're different. Um, trays so each girl can have their own color tray and that way they can use it and we have a bell 
to ring so we can sing you can ring my bell no i'm just kidding so that way when we move from one activity to the next we ring the bell um so we're gonna use that then for the activity that we're gonna do norma is the one who came up with the idea and i'm very thankful to her because of her idea norma toledo or i'm sorry norma montes um her idea i came up with the whole theme for the activity so we have different stock paper 12 by 12 and these are going to become the different petals for the flowers um, and norma was explaining um explaining it um to me different patterns separately might not the leaves cut out in different patterns might not look great but when you put them together they're um, beautiful and as you know the theme of our campaign for peru is you're all together beautiful so what better way to express it um, through the flower theme and the different patterns that the girls are going to build so we have the um the flower so this is cool i like it we have the um the glue for the glue gun and just keeping our theme we have a pink one and i have a purple one because everything has to be color coordinated around here okay so that's going to be the craft or manualidades that we're going to do um, on both days so please be prepared oh these are since we're getting a mesh washing machine we got paint no i'm just kidding these are washable so anything that they if they stain their clothes or anything like that it could easily be taken off i looked for some aprons for painting at the dollar store they're a dollar but they're like 40 of them so i want to be as economical as i possibly can if god blesses us with something else then we can for sure add it now as i mentioned we're going to be moving from one area to the next and i found these so that way each um leader of each group has one and just like we do when you come here at disney and you look at the people with the tour buses they have a paddle and they move from point a to point b with one that's what we're gonna have here just to keep it organized the girls um they're gonna be so excited that we have to find ways to keep them on task because otherwise they're just gonna be all over the place and you're gonna notice that um we're giving them attention they need it each one wants their own attention so we have to keep ways of maintaining the order of what we're doing we're going to give them as much love as possible and attention as we can but we still have to go through the lesson and try to be as timely and as as efficient as we possibly can we also have the pills i mean not the pills we also have the little bags for the vitamins that we're going to set up over there so i was talking to the lady at the um the director of San Juda Chicos, La Señora Tamayo, and she was so excited. And she was like, oh my God, las vitaminas de ellas son tan buenas y tan efectivas. So I'm very happy that we can bless them with those. Okay, so as a, as a treat for the girls, um, I came up with this idea. As if you buy at Oriental Trading, you get addicted to it. These are for popcorn. They're little boxes for popcorn. But we're actually following the theme for flowers. We're gonna build a little pot and inside we're gonna put grass in it. And it's gonna be that paper that you use to fill baskets for Easter. And in it, we're gonna put different treats for the girls. So we have this little, um, we have lollipops here. I thought I had ordered more um, when I ordered them from Oriental Trading, but I, Trading, but I only bought a dozen of them. I thought I had ordered enough for the girls, but today I was blessed enough that I found these that are still colorful and cute, and they can. Uh, we have enough for every basket that we're gonna give out. Um, following the theme of spring, these are spring um, novelty assortment of novelty prices that we're gonna put inside the little um, basket. We also have a pencil with a sunflower card in it, and it says "Follow the sun." Not the sun, but the sun. Like Jesus. Amen. So we're going to follow him with the girls. Um, we also have little Christian tattoos for the girls. <laughs> That's ironic. So we have life um, is sweeter with Jesus. Delight yourself in Jesus. And it's all about Jesus. And I am so excited about this. Okay. We have um, in the stickers, I'm going to try to get labels with the verses, the Bible verses, so we can put one on one side, on each side um, of the box, so that way they always remember 
the Bible verses. So some stickers with little flowers or something like that um, that we're going to put on these. Hopefully I can get them done. And um, and then we're going to have this little, these are, um, let me see here. So there are adhesive glitter flowers in different colors. So this is going to be cool and we can put the stickers um, on the outside of the box so that way we can put all that stuff. Um, we also have included, just like Shirley was saying about an emotional outlet. I put some journals in it. They have the pencils and I'm still looking for something to do with fitness or music. So please, um, hopefully if you know any ideas or anything like that, please let me know. So this is everything that we have for San Judas Chicos. I think the primary thing is for us to um, meditate on how God wants us to be edifying, how we can edify them. Um, we take all the all the stuff, you know, the, all the tangible items that they need. Um, and believe me, they've been waiting for us and they're happy that we're getting there. They're getting ready to receive us. So that is a plus, that means that they care. Um, so we really have to take this um, as, not as seriously, but see the responsibility that God has placed in our hands and to be and to be a, un canal de bendición para poder bendecir las vidas de estas niñas. No sabemos su pasado ni nos importa. Lo que nos importa es su presente y el futuro y lo que Dios puede ser a través de ella. So I wanna keep encouraging you guys. Um, I know for the, next couple of days the enemy will try to bring um this animal because i know it it's done it with me at one point i felt very disappointed and and didn't know if this was the moment i'm very being very honest right now i went through that and god knows and he has plans for us and i see god's hand in everything that we've done so far 